We talk about kicking it reboot stuff all the time. You, I know that you had a lot to do behind the scenes when this show first started. Um, what is it like now coming on screen for the show? Uh, it's a dream come true. I mean, that sounds like cliche and sort of silly, but it really is. I've loved working with the kids behind the scenes the first two seasons, and to actually get the opportunity to share the screen with them and have something that's forever that I can watch 20 years from now and remember my time with them. Like, it really is. It's very special. Well, I remember when I found out that you were like an acting coach and helping them behind the scenes. I was like, he is still in this Disney family. Like, it just made my heart. And what's, what's it like to still be a part of this family? I mean, it's just a big black hole. You try to get out, and they just keep sucking you back in, you know? I mean, they, they just, they've been very good to me over the years. I, you know, I've done multiple shows and DCOMs, and I've done movies for them. Um, and I, the response that I get from the fans just out in the world, how, how much they identify parts of their childhood with things that I've been in, it, it, it just feels like a very special thing. So I, I don't feel the need to, like, push it away or be like, I gotta stop doing the Disney stuff. I, I really enjoy all of my Disney projects. And uh, we got a little bit of Dewey in this first episode. He's very grumpy, which I kind of like. What's it like embodying this character? It's the best. Like, to get paid to be grumpy at people is, it's the dream. Everyone should be so lucky as to just get to get paid to be sassy at everyone. What can we expect um, from him throughout the season? Is he just like, gonna randomly pop up and be like, don't do that? Or like, yeah, I mean, I think he's he's good he's good to like pop in and be a little grumpy, and you'll get a little giggle, and then he'll just sort of disappear into the woods. And um, but there are a couple of episodes that I'm really excited about. I do some things with Corbin, like around episode six, that are exceptionally meta, and Corbin and I thought were very funny. Um, that I'm I'm looking forward to everybody seeing. I yeah. love the little banter you had in just this first episode. Yeah, that was just a tease. yeah. Episode episode. I think it's episode six. Look for, look out for that one. I only got to episode three so far, so. Yeah. I'm going to look out for that. Um, Disney, these Disney projects are known for making these great characters, these great ships that people love. Who, do you have a favorite like Disney couple of all time, whether it's from the movies or from the TV shows? Oh, that's a good question. I don't know if I have a favorite. I mean, I'm, I'm heavily invested in the original Zack and Vanessa, so like paying homage to where the show comes from. I mean, they're, they were just adorable. Oh, and Gabriella forever, right? Yeah. I imagine they're still together, right? They have to be. And would you ever do something like this for one of the projects that you've been on? Would you love to see something kind of meta come through like this? Uh, yeah, I mean, like, if, if somebody had a really cool idea for a Hannah something, or even a kick in it something, because that show was an, a blast as well, um, I'm always open to goofing off with people that I love. I would love to see another kick in it sequel. I, I know. I, Leo and I are still best friends. He was the best man at my wedding. We talk about kick in it reboot stuff all the time. Because we had so much fun on the show. I mean, now all you really got to do is put something on TikTok, and it'll just like blow. I know it'll, it'll force Disney's hand. They'll have to reboot the show. That's how we do it these days, right? <laughs> That's right. <laughs> one could say the stakes have never been higher, and one will. The stakes have never been higher. Oh!